Hi, I'm Brooke, a certified personal trainer and a health and wellness instructor here for the YMCA of Central Ohio. Welcome to your workout of the day. Today's workout is a pure strength workout, meaning you're gonna just do exercises to invigorate those muscles. All right, the format for today's workout is gonna be 10 reps of each exercise listed with minimal break in between those exercises. Let me show you the exercises that we'll be doing. If you take a look at your workout of the day, the first one says alternating backward stepping lunges with a lateral raise. So you're gonna take some dumbbells and alternate that backward stepping lunge with a lateral raise. Your back knee will bend toward the floor and you'll aim for that front thigh to become parallel with the floor. Dumbbells don't need to go too much higher than your shoulder height. Okay, our next exercise is pec decks. So you're gonna start with your elbows, even with your shoulders, and take them out and in. Just like that. Our next exercise is calf raise with a shoulder shrug. So you're gonna come up for your calf raise, but at the top you're gonna do shoulder shrug. A tip I like to give for calf raises is to pause at the bottom and pause at the top so you minimize any rocking and you make sure you're using your muscle strength and not your momentum. Okay, if we take a look, the next exercise is chair squat with a reverse grip front raise. So what this means is we're gonna take a seat with a squat and that front raise comes up when we squat it back. Again, this is a reverse grip, so those palms are up. All right, our next one is gonna be chest flies with tabletop legs. So we're gonna come down to the mat Tabletop legs is gonna really use the core, knees above the hips, and chest slide out. Opening those arms like you're hugging a big beach ball. Our next exercise, as we can see on our list, is an alternating curtsy lunge with bicep curls. So you're gonna have your weights by your side. That curtsy lunge, one leg's gonna come around back and cross, and you'll lunge with your bicep curl. You'll alternate those, just like that. All right, we have a deadlift to an upright row. So heels are under your hips, toes are just slightly out, small bend in the knees, and then you're gonna push those hips back with the dumbbells coming right down your legs, squeezing up with the back of those legs, squeeze the glutes to the upright row. In the upright row, make sure your wrists and elbows are always above the dumbbells. All right, nice job, everybody. Alternating forward stepping lunges with a front raise. So this time we're gonna step forward for that lunge. Again, big bend in that back knee, but it comes forward with the dumbbells. All right. Next exercise, neutral grip chest press with legs tabletop. So we're gonna set up the same way that we did for our chest fly with that tabletop. But this time we have a chest press, but neutral grip, so those palms face each other. And when you come down, you come right until you're about to touch the mat, but you stop and press right back up again. All right, let's check out our next exercise. Renegade row, I love this one. So you're gonna take a plank, with those dumbbells and keeping your hips square toward the mat, you row each dumbbell up at a time. Really working those abdominal muscles as well as your back muscles for an all around good workout. Then while you're still down on the mat, you can take it to some push-ups. Hands are out, you can do these up on your toes or down on your knees. All right, what's after push-ups? Overhead press. So we'll take those dumbbells, again, elbows, even with the shoulders, right up overhead, kind of up above your forehead, and back down, elbows even with the shoulders. All right, after overhead press, we have our alternating side lunges. So starting with those feet together, you're gonna take it off to the side, and then lunge on that outer leg. Our other leg is gonna be a little bit more relaxed and straight. We're gonna push those hips back and then over to the other side. Okay, side-stepping squats 
with the hammer curl. So we're gonna step it out, kind of like we were gonna do a side lunge, but instead we squat right back, making sure to use those inner thighs to squeeze those legs back together. Hammer curls are different because palms face one another for a neutral grip. All right, guys. After this one, we have a squat hold. So dumbbells are gonna be optional for this one. Weights in the heels. We're gonna push our hips back, chest is up, core is tight, and we hold. After that squat hold, we have squat pulses. So you get a second to shake it out, get right back where you are, and pulse. Pulse is gonna be about an inch above and below your hold. Okay, squat with a neutral grip, overhead press. So we set up just like we were, we go down for our squat, extend up with the back of the leg, squeeze the glutes, and take that power right into the upper body. Okay. Getting close to the end here. Surrenders. You're gonna make sure you're on a mat or soft surface for this one. We'll come down just like we're gonna do a lunge, but we'll allow that knee to come all the way down. Other knee, take a knee and rise. Knee, knee, foot, foot. This one takes a lot of core to really work with that balance. Tricep dips. So you're gonna want a sturdy chair. Fingers face forward, hips off of the chair, and bend those elbows back and up. You only really have to bend your arms until your elbows make a 90 degree angle, and then you can squeeze right up with that big muscle on the back of your arm. Final move is gonna be a wall set. So find a wall, back against the wall, just like that squat hold, but you'll be able to bring your chest up a little bit more, squeezing your core so that the low back is into the wall. So those are all of your exercises for this pure strength workout. Please remember, if you're working out with a partner, practice that social distancing and practice those good sanitation techniques. Don't forget to log this workout as Y Strength in the Y Tracker at ytrack.org for our Stay Healthy 600 Challenge. Thank you so much for being a sustaining member of the YMCA to help us with our cause-driven work.